We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello everyone, I'm Mike, this is Ben. And today we're going back to those pretentious ingredients. Please don't check my internet browsing history. I hate, you look so smug. We've just been shopping and we've bought some ingredients off of the interwebs that we thought might be interesting to discuss. A bit like your shirt. Interesting to discuss. Interesting. That's what I was aiming for. Interesting. The chains are a bit much, aren't they? They are a bit much, aren't they? <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready for fun? Turn around. Oh. It's the sticky thing you're judging. Oh, okay. So it's not the gooseberries. They're pretty pleasurable. No, they're just seasonal. <laughs> <laughs> Is it honeycomb? I usually have manuka honey purely for medicinal reasons. It's my first go. I go for manuka honey before I go for the headache tablets or anything else. There we go. Nectar and hive, red gum, 100% unpasteurized. It comes from hives that haven't been anywhere near uh, any chemicals or pesticides or even much in the way of transportation. It should be as pure as it comes. This particular honey comes with scientific lab reports to prove its purity and to prove its total activity, which is its antibacterial properties. Okay, right. Oh, this is, I hate myself so much. He has got this at home. No, no I, haven't, I haven't got it at home, but, but you put that in front of me straight away and the packaging has caught my attention. <laughs> Mmm, that's delicious. That is delicious. I quite like having a block of honey you can chew through. Mmm, I'm going to eat all of this. How much would you pay? About 40 quid. 50 pounds. I know that's crazy. That is pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> James, that 300 grams worth of honeycomb is 125 pounds. Whoa! Whoa! Delicious, right? Whoa! You've just nailed about 20 quid's worth of honey there. <laughs> Why? I... I can't believe that, 120, that is insane. And pretentious or not? Honeycomb in itself is not necessarily pretentious because it tastes great, but it's really expensive. Terribly overpriced. It's delicious. It looks great. I will be taking this home. <laughs> and it's definitely pretentious. It will be a race at the end of the day. You've got to fight Barry for it. Given your martial arts belts, I think you have the upper hand. Yeah, I'll just hold his head like that. <laughs> 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds. <laughs> I think you're going to like this one. We're winning already. Sourdough bread, sourdough toast. Nope, ciabatta, but close. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, it is. Truffle. Puccini mushroom dip of some sort. It's a bit pasty. What if, what if you took the word paste and then you um, minus the S and added an accent? <laughs> Or two. <laughs> or, yeah, or two actually, yeah. Pate. Pate! <laughs> <laughs> so this is a white truffle pate. Uh, Savini Tartuffi have been gathering them in the rolling hills of Tuscany since the 1920s. Here they've blended them into pate with a rich earthy flavour, ready to spread over toasted ciabatta as a quick and easy canapé, or add to your scrambled egg mix in the morning to up your breakfast game. <sighs> Bloody hell. I'm worried why it's served in such a small jar. It's quite rich. But that automatically says that's pretentious and very expensive. I've been truffle hunting in Tuscany. Pretentious or not? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I have a craving, personally, for truffle. It's been several hours since I've had my manuka. I yeah. think I've now got a craving for truffle. I hate I've myself. Got a, I've got a craving very, for very truffle. rarely I'll, go have a, I'll have a craving of that and, and it hits the spot. How much do you think that is? I've never bought truffle. Prices fluctuate. I once had a, a, a wobbly knee moment with the truffle. Oh. You know when you're just so good, it makes you go wobbly at the knees. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. I reckon it's about 20 quid, which is extortionate for the amount you get. More than £9.95. Correct. Would you enjoy that for £75 for the jar? I think you've just consumed about 30 quid's worth. 30 quid's worth? Do I... You had half a jar. You've had half a jar. Give or take. No way. It's not, it's not good enough. You should be, you could buy a truffle for that much. On par. It is delicious and it, it delivers a lovely, um, smooth, rich truffle flavour. But you get the same effect from a little bit of truffle oil. 
It's fine, it's nice, I'm going back for more. Mainly because I really enjoy just eating money. <laughs> <laughs> What a unique position to be in. That is true. How often do you get the privilege of experiencing something yeah. that we've all said would be out of our personal budgets? Yeah. Exactly. We do this purely for the conversation. Pretentious or not? Truffle isn't pretentious at all. But when it's sold like that, that much, then I'm afraid that is pretentious. And I'm going to say pretentious because you can get truffle oil that really has truffle flavour. For, for nothing. Okie dokie, lemon smoky, turn around and have a pokey. Mm. That went weird. <laughs> that went weird. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Are we going to keep that? Yeah, yeah, let's keep that. Pasta! Yes! <laughs> well, that's attractive for everyone. So I take it you haven't dressed that or anything? That has a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Usually, pasta is a vehicle for flavour. They've packed all the flavour into that pasta, and I don't know how. There's pasta with flex through it, which I assume is what you want me to talk about, but I can't taste it. Can you not? No. Okay. Ah. <laughs> is it familiar? Yes. Mm. It's very familiar. Is it? <laughs> is it not? Is it not familiar then? How familiar would you say it oh. is? Do you think it's something you've tried in the last 32 <laughs> years? <laughs> Is it, is it truffle? Is it something you've tried <laughs> in the truffle. last 32 it's seconds? It's yeah. truffle, isn't it? It's truffle. <laughs> a truffle pasta. So this is black truffle, different to white truffle. This is black truffle fettuccine. We bought it dried, so it's a dried pasta made with the highest yeah. quality ingredients and it's 2% black truffle. Fantastic little touch. You know what, if you say you taste truffle in that, you're lying. Tell me you can taste truffle in that. Maybe I'm not a chef anymore. I'm no, I'm no truffle expert. It doesn't smell of truffle as much as it was. I'm so... <laughs> you are in. Does it? No. 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 Lovely packaging. How much would you pay for a box of four portions of dried black truffle pasta? I'm going to start at 40, but I'm going to come down to 30 pounds. For the box? For the box. 30 pounds for a box of pasta. 10 pounds. It's actually 6 pounds 99. An absolute bargain. Imagine if it tasted of truffle. I'd love it. Less than £2 a portion. Yeah. That's a good little meal. Would you buy it? No. Do you think it's pretentious? I think the packaging is pretentious. I don't think the product is pretentious. Uh, not pretentious. That is brilliant. Love that. All right, Tay Tay. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't had one of these for a little while. Ooh. Unidentified brown stuff. That is something I don't want to try. Right, I've got a list of ingredients here, Baz. How many are you going to get? You don't typically eat it like that, we will prepare one for you in a second, but what kind of thing are you getting? Tamarind. Ooh. Interesting you've gone straight in with that. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, was say, I was just looking through these notes here and going, nope. nope. Good, good reaction though, because I, I thought, got to nail that. Nailed it. <laughs> Ginger. Cardamom. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Chai. It is a plant-based chai latte. It's called Kuji. And each jar is encoded with the intention to inspire a consciousness shift in your life. From earth to creation, every step in the making of this is anchored by kindness, integrity, and care for your higher good. Oh no. <laughs> you add a teaspoon to 135 mil of relatively hot, 75 to 85 degrees of mineral spring water, Blend, and that's it. Why does he look like he hates it? Already? So I'm going to have to buy this now forevermore. It looks more like um, the sort of thing you'd like a face mask, the sort of mm. jar, than something you'd eat. It's like, I don't know why I know that either. Shut up, Barry. <laughs> it looks like a candle. Does it taste like a candle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like a candle. A little bit like a candle. <laughs> That was just with water. Just with water, so it's vegan as well. Sprouted almonds, coconut it's cream, coconut so nectar, creamy. coconut oil, black tea, and you'll notice no sugar. Coconut nectar is the only sweet ingredient. That's one of the nicest glasses of chai I've had. In fairness to it, like it's a great froth and it's milky considering it's vegan. How much for the jar then? Oh no. No, oh, yes. 16 yeah. servings. Six, one six. I only one need a six. teaspoon. That's it. Let's, let's, let's say about 20 quid. 20 pounds. That jar there is 35 pounds. Now, you weren't far off when you said per portion. That makes that like two pound 20 a portion. So it's on par 
with the kind of price you'd pay in a London coffee shop for similar. That's nicer than chais I've had in restaurants and coffee shops. Yeah, that price doesn't even phase me anymore. I, I, obviously I wouldn't buy it and it's ridiculously expensive. Pretentious or not? Oh, I, I, this is the hardest one yet. It's so pretentious. I, I like it. Still a lot of money, but it's not pretentious. Infinite Harmony providing chai latte is not pretentious for £35. Great, I think our job here is done. <laughs> I think that perhaps the marketing and the copy is pretentious. I oh, yeah. don't think the product the is. Product it's quality, it's well sourced, it's delicious. Ignore all that stuff. It tastes lovely. Okay. Just put out the label. It tastes, it tastes lovely. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Cross out infinite harmony. It tastes lovely. It tastes lovely. Yeah. Fair. 35 pounds, please. <laughs> this is your last one. Enjoy it. I've handpicked this for you. You have it I've for me? I've handpicked this for you. Is it a GNT? Looks like a GNT. It's very sweet. Can I give you some tasting notes? Okay. Uh, juniper on the nose, followed by fresh orange, which brings a sherbet-like feel, and coriander, which brings warmth. You also know when sometimes you try wine, some mm. white wines, they get almost like a, a grassy note to them. Yeah, you yeah. do get a grassy note. Do you pick up any, any grassy I'm, notes? I'm sensing a lot of yeah. I, <laughs> I'm the, I'm just, I don't know why. I, there's, so I'm not a massive gin fan. You know that. I'm a, I'm a rum person. So why the hell would you put gin in front of me and say this is? This is a limited edition. <laughs> no. It is the Arsenal Football Club gin limited edition, and one of the botanicals is grass from the pitch. What pitch? The Emirates pitch. The Emirates. It's not even bloody Highbury. Okay. Would you like to see the bottle? Wow. This is the perfect party in a bottle, crowning itself as a theatre of taste. Can be enjoyed neat on the rocks, but also adds a little colour to your g and It's exactly what's missing. Mini umbrella and streamers optional. <laughs> Where did you get this? This was purchased off of the interwebs. Um, I actually can't take credit for it. Uh, Izzy um, found this one and said, that looks amazing, shall we get one for James? <laughs> Thanks, Izzy. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, um, do you like it? It's all right. It's a bit sweet for me. That is absolute rubbish. Purely down to the fact that it doesn't matter what badge you put. They're like Arsenal is a football team. They, you can put the badge on scarves, hats, socks, shoes, baby clothes. I will buy it because I'm a supporter of Arsenal. Um, that's this is where they go too far. If that is the same price as a normal bottle of gin, I'd say it's worth it for the sake of keeping the bottle afterwards. Well, how much do you think it is? How much do you think that sells for? I think it probably sells for 30 quid. Pretty, pretty, pretty spot on. 35. 25 pounds. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. That's, that's 99 pounds. No! How many do they make? Is it like a limited edition? It is limited edition. I don't know how many they made. So it is, I mean, that's my point. It's a collector's item. It's a story. It's got grass from the pitch. That's <laughs> Which is what Absolute I want in all my gin. Wait a minute. Ask me the question. Pretentious or not? No, it's a football brand. I, football is not is the least pretentious thing in the world. <laughs> novelty. Novelty. It's a novelty category. You're not paying for the gin, you're just paying for having that on your shelf. The reaction when you whip it out at a party, right? Yeah. Not pretentious as a brand. Which really, I find hard when they stick it on the front of that, which is a very pretentious product. The product is pretentious. Arsenal is not. He loves Arsenal so much. That hurts! <laughs> Why would you do that to me? If you enjoy these videos, we certainly do, please let us know by giving the video a like, commenting below with any pretentious ingredients you've found, and we'll get hold of them. And then we will see you in the same place, same time every week, Wednesday and Sunday at 4pm. See you later. Bye-bye. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. One of my favorite things about potential ingredients, filming these, is the fact we had some leftover afterwards. And I once caught Jamie by the crappiest little salad from the supermarket around the corner, and he decided to put on the balsamic vinegar <laughs> glaze, which was worth 90 pounds for a tiny pot. It was amazing.